Amen. Praise be to God. Today's video is called The Gates of Hell Will Prevail. Amen. Praise be to God. And we are taking this from Jesus in Matthew when he says, Amen. Flesh and blood. Watch this, okay? Flesh and blood. I've not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. Okay, that's revelation. And upon that rock, what does that rock mean? The rock where not flesh and blood revealed that to you means not family. It's not your family that has revealed this to you. That's why when Jesus' parents and brothers and sisters stood out and said, you've gone beside yourself, you've gone mad. They desire to see you. Something's wrong. And Jesus turned around and said to them, my mothers, my brothers, my fathers, my sisters, are those who do the will of my Father which is in heaven. What is that will? The will that's revealed by Amen Revelation. That's where Jesus said, flesh and blood. I've not revealed this to you, praise be to God. And this is how you rescue your family from the gates of hell. Look, flesh and blood have not revealed this to you. It means it's not that which comes from the family. It's coming from the Father, praise be to God. And except you accept the revelation that comes from the Father, then guess what? Flesh, blood, look at that, the family, the gates of hell will prevail. And so how God rescues any family can only be by the spirit of revelation. And against this rock, when I build the church, my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Praise be to God. So, and this is what Jesus meant when he said, except the man hate his mother, father, brothers, sisters, children, cannot be my disciple. What does that mean? It means that revelation must be received above them. Why? Because it's only through that the gates of hell will prevail. And if you take a good look at your family and your situation, what you see is the gates of hell, they have been prevailing. And there's only one way. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. And no man, amen, comes to the Father except through me. What does it mean? My revelation. And against this, the gates of hell will not prevail. Praise be to God. And we're going to be looking at today, amen. Amen. How the gates can't prevail. Because Jesus said, concerning about the line of the tribe of Judah, he have prevailed. Prevailed against what? Prevailed against the gates of hell. Praise be to God. So, amen. That's, amen, the decision that we've always got to make. Like Abraham, when he's talking about his flesh and blood, he was told something that didn't seem like it would be of God. This thing don't seem of God. Get rid of your son. Look at that. What do you mean? Take my son Ishmael, and cast him into the wilderness. That's the desert. No money, no inheritance, just one bottle of water and one loaf of bread. That doesn't seem like it's of God at all. That seems this is this is hard to understand. Amen. But except God, except Abraham did that, what was going to happen? Now listen to this very carefully. All right? Inside of Abraham's family, there was a problem developing in the family with Ishmael that he was so wild. Amen. That not even Abraham could control it. And except Abraham did the thing by revelation. It's revelation. Okay? It's a revelation that came upon him to cast his son into the desert. And if he didn't do the thing that came to him by revelation, what was going to happen is this problem with Ishmael was going to get out of hand and it was going to pull the family down. You understand that? And what you've got to look at your family. What problems are in the family that are like Ishmaelic family? What do I mean Ishmaelic family? God said to Ishmael. Ishmael is a wild ass of a man. And all men shall be against him against all men. It means real big trouble. You've got a real big trouble in the family. And it's so troublesome. Trouble in your marriages. Trouble with your children. Amen. It's not going. Because why? He's a wild ass of a man. Do you recognize problems in your family, in your marriage, that is like a wild ass, that is so stubborn, that is just not going to move? And except Abraham was moved by a revelation, what would happen is that problem was never 
ever going to go away. And it's so strong, that problem in your marriage. It is so strong, that problem in your health. That it said this, all men shall be against him. And yet they start, can't move him. Look how frightening that is. This problem in your marriage and in your life is so strong that all the men in the world are not going to be able to push it away from you. Okay? And that's what Abraham recognized. What did he do? Amen. By moving by a revelation, he did the thing which is unthinkable. He took Ishmael and cast him into the wilderness with nothing. That's unthinkable. No father would do that. But that was by revelation. And sometimes only by revelation. You're able to move the ass, the wild ass of a problem that cannot be moved by anybody in the world. And that's what God wants to show you. There's some things in your life nobody can move except by revelation. And the trouble with revelation, it can come in a way that becomes unspeakable and unlawful, but it's only through that revelation, amen, that Abraham, praise God, what happened to Ishmael? After he cast him out, God said, don't worry, I will make him great. What does that mean? Amen. That the problem in your life, in your marriage, that is so bad, I can make your marriage great. I can make your children's health great. I can recover your wife. I can make it, not just the you know, recover your wife to good health. Make the health great. Make the marriage great. Make the children's health great. But you've got to be prepared to move by an unspeakable and unlawful revelation that Abraham had. It was unlawful. You don't sacrifice your children to the wilderness. You don't take Isaac up and kill him. That's unspeakable revelation. But sometimes it takes an unspeakable revelation to move an unspeakable problem. Oh man, come on man. Praise be to God, amen. And if you don't understand that, amen, you're reading the book of Abraham and not seeing it. You're hearing the story of Abraham, but you're not hearing it, praise be to God. You're not understanding what it took to be Abraham, what it took to move the unmovable problem. It took an unspeakable revelation. And God... Amen. Just like he was then, I am he that changeth not. Amen. And we don't understand that. Why? Because we don't read the Bible. Praise God. So that be my prophecy for you. Now remember, flesh and blood have not revealed this to you. This is something that family can't give to you. In fact, it seems the opposite to family. How can you keep a family together by casting away someone into the desert to die? How can you keep a family together by taking your child and killing him? It doesn't make any sense. It's, it, doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. Praise God. But it took an unspeakable, unlawful revelation to remove an unremovable problem. Amen. A great problem. Amen. God said, I will make him great. Praise God. And this is where we come into... Amen. And if you don't understand that, this is the title of the video. The gates, and listen very carefully to me, okay? The gates of hell will prevail, okay? Praise God. So let's go into Revelation chapter 4 and 5. When John is talking, he said, After this, in verse 1, I saw an open door, okay? Don't you want an open door in your marriage? Don't you want an open door in your health? Praise God. Don't you want a door to open in your life? Jesus said, I am he that openeth and no man shutteth. Amen. But there's a condition of the door being opened in your life. What's the condition? After this. What did John mean after this? Revelation chapter 1. He said this. Now to the revelation, amen, of Jesus Christ, given to Jesus from God. Okay. And so for Jesus to be able to beat the devil... He couldn't do it lest he had a revelation by God. And remember, when he came down to the earth, he left his glory in the heavens. He now becomes like one of us. He can't maneuver except by revelation. And so when Jesus is saying, Amen, eat my body and drink my blood, he's doing it by revelation. It's what he's seeing by revelation. Not walking around knowing everything. No, waiting until something is revealed to him. 
And he won't speak until it's revealed to him. Praise be to God. And so if Jesus can only function by a revelation given to him by God, what is your revelation and my revelation? And without the revelation, Abraham's family was finished. Okay? His family would have been destroyed. Except now he moved by the unspeakable revelation. Praise be to God. And that's what made him famous. What's the revelation that God wants to give to you? <laughs> yes. Where's your test? Where's your Abraham test? Where's your Isaac test? Where's your Ishmael test? Where's your Ruth test? Esther test? Praise be to God. Amen. Where's your Jephthah test? And these tests, you can't do it. Jephthah killed his daughter. His virgin daughter. How could you do that? Except you're moved by revelation. How could you find peace in such an unspeakable thing? Except you're moved by revelation. And these men were moved by revelation. Praise be to God. And then John goes on to say, Amen. Blessed are those who read this book, but keep it. You see, there's one thing reading the book. Everybody all loves the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation kind of scares them. But that's what Revelation is. It's scary stuff. But so too is the revelation God will give you is scary. Not just what God will give John. Daniel, after he saw his revelation, said he was sick for days after it. Sometimes when God reveals to you, it leaves you feeling sick. Amen. But it's the revelation that changes the unchangeable situation. So, are you able to read your revelation? Are you able to keep it? Okay. And if you keep it, then an open door comes to you. Praise God. And that's only possible if Jesus says in John chapter, Revelation 1, I am the Alpha and I am the Omega. I am the beginning and I am the end. Praise God. From the minute you get up in the morning to the minute you go to bed, you don't move except by revelation. Jesus says, I do not speak until I hear my father speak. Amen. I don't do anything unless I see my father do it. Why? By revelation. Praise be God. And except that's the alpha and the omega of your life, you're not going to be able to keep the revelations that God gives you. You'll not be able to do it. Okay? Ezekiel told to eat the pool. It comes out of his bottom. But he understood it by revelation. We today do not. We're in, a, we're in a time today that people think we're revelated. Amen. But we're not. Praise God. Amen. Then you have, um, praise God, then you have Revelation chapter 2 where Jesus reproves the churches. Okay. He rebukes them. Amen. Tells them they need to repent. Amen. He's hard with them as well as soft. And unless you can take both the hard side of God and the soft side of God, guess what? After this, then a door will be opened. The door won't be open to you, praise God. Amen. And you need to be able to receive both the chastisement of God, amen, praise God, as well as the soft side of God, that the door may be open to you, praise God. Amen. And then you have revelations you're talking about that all the king, the crowns were put upon, if the people said they all felt like kings. And then that's how God wants you to feel. He wants you to feel like a king. And that's what you get when you receive revelation. When you believe the things that God tells you, no matter how strange they are. What is it? Esther was the virgin queen, okay, virgin girl. And she was told to go and give herself to somebody who was a madman. okay, Somebody that after she took her virginity may not even want her. And she obeyed it. Why? Because moved by revelation. And it's in that, praise God, that she felt like a queen before she was a queen. Yeah? You've got to feel like a king before you're made a king. And how is that possible? That you believe the things that God reveals to you. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Are you going to be like Peter? <laughs> Amen. You see Jesus walking on the water. You see the miracle of God. The, the people that came out of the promised, amen, that went to spy out the promised land, came back with big grapes and big apples and the land flowing with milk and honey. But they just couldn't enter there. Why? 
because they didn't keep the revelation of God. They didn't believe they can do it. It was too difficult for them. And that's the thing about revelation. Something revelations are very big. There is one thing going into the land that's flowing with milk and honey. What does that mean? A land flowing with revelation. You've got to be prepared to fight the giants in the land. <laughs> and people don't mind the revelation, praise God. People don't mind, amen, amen, uh, the, the, the big fruits and the, the flowing with milk. But what they don't want to do is to fight the giants that stand in the way. And there's always going to be a giant standing in the way of the promise God wants to give to you. Amen. And of course, Revelation is really talking about the coming of the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. Judge, judgment. Praise be to God. The kings came from the tribe of Judah, brought in judgment. Don't you think God wants to judge people? And then the Bible said about Elijah, he shall be a swift witness, a judge against the adulterers. Don't you want God to swiftly judge sin? If God doesn't swiftly judge it, people keep on sinning, 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 sinning. Amen. But by revelation, when revelation comes into the camp, praise God. What happens? God becomes a swift witness to the adulterers, the sorcerers, the liars, the effeminate, praise God. But on the condition of what? Amen. You've got to receive the revelations that God gives to you. Okay. And that's it. Or the gates of hell, they will prevail. In 60 minutes, just like Matthew 16. Amen. Praise God. Peter had to believe who he was. And upon this rock will I build my church. And to you is given the keys. And Peter, the rest of his life, believed it because it was given to him by revelation. Praise God. Amen. But remember I said to you in the beginning of the video, sometimes revelations are very difficult to accept indeed. Why is that? Because sometimes the problem you have is very difficult indeed. And it needs a very hard, deep revelation to sort out a very deep, hard problem. And Abraham realized that, and so he sacrificed Ish Ishmael and Isaac in, in both different ways. And in doing that, Ishmael became great. Praise God. Your marriage will become great. Amen. And that's all given to you. Amen. By revelation. And that's it. Praise God. So but we give God thanks. And as the, the revelation says, unto the Lamb and to him only is given glory, honor, wisdom, power, blessing. Amen. And that's what we give to Jesus. Amen. Praise God. So God bless.